Hey everyone, welcome to episode 33 of the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name is Melissa and I'm podcasting to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Friday, March the 12th. I want to thank you all for joining me and I hope you all are doing well. Also, I want to give a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I have finally reached over 100. I'm very excited about that and I'm very thankful. Thank you all so much. I hope you all like the content of my videos on this channel and that you'll stick around. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed and you do like what you see, I hope you'll consider subscribing and giving comments and giving me thumbs up. That, that would be great. So like I said in past videos, once I reached 100 subscribers, I was going to do a giveaway and I'm still going to do a giveaway and I'll film that uh, sometime next week. I'm gathering items for the giveaway. So that will be coming up very soon. So keep a lookout for that and it'll be worldwide. I will ship to wherever. <clears throat> so yeah, so keep an eye out for that. So this video, I have works in progress, finished objects, and some acquisitions. So we'll just get into it. I want to show the acquisitions first. I just have a little bit. It's just two skeins of yarn. I got these um, yarns from Bumblebee Acres. I've shown a lot of their yarns on this channel. They're one of my favorites, and probably right now they're, they seem to be my favorites. So they had a few weeks back a update for um, St. Patrick's Day and I got some St. Patrick's Day themed yarn. So the first one I want to show you is this. Isn't it beautiful? So this is Bumblebee Acres. This is their tag and I will link their shop and everything that I can link below I will. So this is called End of the Rainbow. It's on their Coquette sock which is I think that's my favorite base that they have. It's just so, oh, just look at it. I love it. So this is End of the Rainbow. It's Superwash, 75% um, American Coradale and 25% Nylon. It's fingering weight, three ply, um, 434 yards. And it is, I think that's about it. Hmm. Yep, that's it. So it's beautiful. I think I said everything. I love it. I love it very much. And I've already done a, um, they've already had another update for Easter. So I bought some, I bought some of that, some stuff. But it, I'll tell you what, I bought minis and that doesn't count. And I bought a bag. So that'll be coming up soon. So there's the first skinny yarn that I, got and the second one is this and this this is on their coquette base as well and it's the three ply fingering it is the same thing super wash 75 percent american Coradale, 25 percent nylon 435 yards and the name of this is brigadoon oh it's beautiful so yeah, so these are my two yarns and I think I want this to be a sock head hat. That's what I think I want this to be and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. It's just beautiful. So that, that's my acquisition. So I was, I've been pretty good. All right, so now we'll get into finished objects. And the first finished object I have is this and can you see it oh it's getting worse it's getting worse i think you can see it good so this is the let me i wrote it down i don't want to get it wrong this is a works in progress in my last video <clears throat> and it is the outlander inspired knit button cowl it's by christy at crochet creations by christy um, she does a live on Sundays at 10 o'clock Eastern time, and she does make alongs, little make alongs, knit alongs, crochet alongs during the live. And then she leaves, um, she tells us the pattern on the live. And then on her, um, Facebook page, she, she leaves the pattern there. So this is it finished. And the yarn that I used is... I used this yarn 
um i don't know how much i have left but we'll get to that in a minute so this is the Pre premier serenity chunky yeah see it chunky ch chunky yarn it is 100 percent acrylic 328 yards 300 grams and let's see the colorway it is the color is smoke and this was made in turkey it's very soft and let me see so how much of the yarn did i have left yes i have it no hmm. oh here we go this is how much i had i had left so i have quite a bit of this left and then i have this which i don't know what i'm gonna do with but the needles that i use to knit this are these are on my chow goo interchangeables and this is pretty sure it's eight millimeter i can never read these hmm. yeah eight millimeter so that's my first work in progress, or I'm sorry, my first finished object. And I really, I really like how it came out. And then just two buttons, I got it, Michael's. That's it. And so my <clears throat> second finished object is a hat. And this, I'm also, I'm doing this for Hat Not Hate. I'm doing it through Christy, Crochet Creation by Christy. She's got a post on her Facebook page for hats made for Hat Not Hate. Um, that's, it's a, I think it's, um, it's sponsored by Lion Brand and it's an anti-bullying campaign where you knit or crochet blue hats and they hand them out to school age children. Um, <clears throat> just look up Hat Not Hate to get more information on it. And so, yeah, Christy is doing this on her Facebook page. And so this is a hat that I've knit. I knit this hat and I want to make more. I have a lot. I have still have a lot of this yarn. And this is just, just a basic knit hat, two by two rib. Um, I tried to make it a little smaller. I can't really, really remember what I did now, but um, to fit more of a a child, not, you know, a child's head or a teenager's head than an adult head. And so the yarn that I used for this is, and believe it or not, I was looking through all my stash and I don't really have a lot of blue yarn, just acrylic blue yarn, believe it or not. I have plenty of this though. I have this, I have so I have this, I knit this hat and then I have another skein. So I can make quite a few, probably about three three more hats. So the yarn that I'm using is Lion Brand Jeans. This is 100 grams, 246 yards. It's a number four and it's 100% acrylic. And the colorway is brand new and it's made in India. And let's see, so I have this much of that skein of yarn, so I can, I know I'll get another hat out of this, knit hat, and then I have another whole skein. So, yeah. And all the other yarn that I seem to have that's blue is like mixed blends, and, um, you know, I guess when you're donating, well, I guess, you know, it'd be, just be better to stick with acrylic when you're donating so that nobody has to worry about washing instructions. So the needles I used, I used my chow goos. No, I didn't. I used my chow goo um, to close the top. I did magic loop, but I used my Addies and I used a four millimeter for the brim and then a five millimeter for the body of the hat. And that, yeah, I used my Addies um, 16 inch circulars on those. So those are my two finished objects. And so now we get on to works in progress.
Okay, so my first works in progress is, um, I didn't do a ton of this. So I'm making um, like a scrappy placemat out of cotton with all my cotton scraps. And so this is it so far, whoops. I think last time I showed it, I had almost finished with the pink. <clears throat> and I'm just taking all my scrap cottons and making like these scrappy placemats. Or I don't, I don't actually use them for placemats. I use them to like put on the counter to put like dishes on that I hand wash. And I've just got a variety of yarns in here. There's um, Lily Sugar and Cream. Peaches and creams, is that what they call it? Yeah, peaches and cream. Um, I love this cotton, uh, Crafter's Secret. Just all my scraps, some of them, well, that's most of my scraps. And I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook for that. So yeah. So that's my first works in progress. My second work in progress are my socks, my knitted socks. Oh, and let me, well, let me go back to this just a little bit. This is crochet, I don't know, obviously, I, it's crochet. And I'm just doing, I, I chained 50, and I'm just doing half double crochets. That's it, and then I'll probably put a border around it. So that's that. And so next are my knit socks. So I have one almost completed. <coughs> Excuse me. It just needs the heel. It has no heel yet. I think I show I think it with this was completed last time I podcasted. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this is the second sock <coughs> what I've gotten so far. Oh lord. And I think I had just, I know last time I had done the cuff and maybe had just started to about here. So I've knit all that. I've got my waist yarn in. Um, yep, that's it. And I'm using, these are my Addies. Um, I use Magic Loop. Uh, my needle size is 2.25. And, oh, hang on one second. Sorry about that. I got a text message I had to answer. So we were talking about this sock. So Addie's Magic Loop 2.25. And the yarn I'm using is, this is Nomadic Yarns. Here's their tag. And this is the on their twisty sock base. It's 400 yards, 100 grams, 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon and the colorway is salt water. And for the cuff, I used a Malabrigo yarn. This is it and it's um it's Malab it's 440 yards, 100 grams um Malabrigo, this is made in Peru, and the colorway is Sereza. So those are my socks. I think that's about it. I just cast on 64, there's cat hair, 64 stitches. I do cuff down. Um, this is 15 rows, and then this is about 50 rows maybe. And then for the foot, I'll do about 65 something. I don't know. I'd have to go, I don't, I don't know. Basically with the second sock, I'm just trying to match it up with this sock. I just get lazy. So I can't remember. I think I did a pretty good job. So there's my socks. So hopefully the next time I podcast, I will be finished with these. They're such fun colors. I like them very much. 
All right, so that is my next works in progress. So how many was that? That was two. Yeah, so I have five. Okay. So the next one is a shawl I'm making. And here it is. I, ha I showed this last time. I podcasted. Here it is. Here's the shawl so far. And this is where I was. Or, yeah. This is where I was. And so I have knitted all that. And this is using the <clears throat> the Karen Cotton Ripple Cakes. That's how much I have left so far. Um, this is a hundred. Let's see, hundred percent cotton, two hundred and forty grams, four hundred and ninety-one yards. It's a number three. The colorway is soft summer stripes, and this yarn is. Sorry, no, sorry. This is the Soft Summer Stripes collection and the colorway is Wild Flowers. Let's see, there's all that. And let's see, Made in China. And the pattern that I'm using, it's the Rainy Day Crochet Shawl and it's on the back of the label. And I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. And so this is it. That's it. So that is another works in progress. <clears throat> okay. And so this is a new works in progress. It's a blanket. I don't have much luck at finishing blankets, but I want to finish this blanket. And so this is a blanket. <clears throat> I'm going to get it wrong. It's by Attic24. It is um, the Cozy Stripes blanket. Well, anyway, here's what I've got done so far. It's a free pattern on her blog. Lucy is her name. I've made this blanket before. So it's a long, oh, I'm holding it upside down. There we go. Yep, so this is it. This is for my granddaughter. And I made it a big blanket so she'll have this for, she can grow up with it, hopefully. And the yarns that I'm using, a crochet blanket. I never say whether it's knit or crochet, but I mean, obviously it's crochet. And I am using, where did I put those? Oh dear. Oh, I put them back in here, okay. So this is the Baby Rainbow yarn. It's by Loops and Threads. You get this yarn at Michael's. Um, I'm using four colors. Let me get them all out. <clears throat> so these are the colors that I'm using. Let's see. So it is the Baby Rainbow yarn, 530, 503 yards, 200 grams. It's a number four. The colorway is cream. Mm -mm. 
100% polyester. And yeah, this colorway is cream. And this is light gray. This one is blue skies. And then this one is light pink. And I am using a, I think it's a six millimeter crochet hook. I'm using what it calls for. No, I'm not. Yeah, six millimeter crochet hook, which I must have left in the bag. So, yep. Yeah. So I did really well because um, I'm changing colors every two rows. And see, I haven't cut them off, cut them yet, but I did weave in my ends. They are woven in. I just haven't cut them yet. So, and this is such a soft blanket and I really, I like working with this yarn. So I'm going to try, and so far I've been pretty successful. I'm gonna to try to crochet two rows, at least two rows a night. So that is, that works in progress. <clears throat> yes, six millimeter crochet hook. Oh, that's for my socks. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so it has warmed up here really nicely, and now we've got allergies. <laughs> we've got pollen. So it's like 30 in the morning, but then we have pollen in the afternoon and bees. All right, so my last works in progress is something, um, it's a knit project and I have shown this a couple of times and I haven't worked on it much, but I felt like working on it this week, this past week. And I'll show you the pattern first. This is, it's it's a scarf out of the Harry Potter Knitting Magic book. And it is the Wizarding Transportation Scarf. And so I did a little bit of work on this. Uh, let's see, it's the Wizarding Transportation Scarf designed by Tannis Gray, who is the author of this book as well. All right, so let's show you what I've got so far. I have to be careful. I do not want to pull the needles. Where are the, oh, there they are. Okay, so it's a little, color work is not my, you know, specialty. I'm trying to learn it. I haven't done much, so it's a little wonky. So here it is. So the last time I showed it, I was there. So I've done all of this. So I've completed the night bus and I'm working on the broomsticks. So this is it so far. And I'm kind of in the middle of a row, but and see how bumpy it is. I'm hoping, you know, blocking will, oh, don't look at it too. <laughs> I feel like my tension is getting a little better up here than it was down here. Yeah. I'm trying to stretch. Hopefully when I block it, it'll get less bumpy. All right, so. So well, let me show you this real quick, show you where I work, sort of I am. So see, there's three parts of the scarf. Well, yeah, so you have the night bus and these are the broomsticks and nine and three quarters. So this is, I'm working on this section. And then I don't really know how many times you have to repeat these three sections. I don't know how many times, at least twice, possibly three times three times it's a long scarf 
So that's why I'm on the broomsticks. <clears throat> and I'm using, and it could be why this is not saying, but like maybe acrylic yarn. I'm using 100% acrylic yarn and maybe that isn't the best for color work. It doesn't really help. I don't know which side. So I just think this looks a little bit better. My tension. Mm. <sighs> so I'm using Stylecraft. Let's see. Stylecraft Special Erin. I don't know who that is. I'm using Stylecraft Special Erin. And so the colors, I'll, I'll list all the colors. These are the colors that are going to go into the scarf. These four colors. I've just barely used the blue. But these are the four colors that will go into it. And I'll tell you a bit about, let's see. So it's 100% premium acrylic. It is 214 yards. So Aaron, that's like a worsted weight. And so, um, I don't know if it, it's made Made for under, I think it's was well, it his made for stylecraft under license in Turkey, so I'm gonna say it's made in Turkey. It's a hundred grams, and this is called this colorway is parchment. I hope I have all the colors. Um, this is plum. That's plum. This is denim. And do I have the other one? So I'm missing this one. I'm not really, but I don't know where it is. know what I did with the other label of this one but there's this one I don't know what I did with it oh well so that oh and I am using a well wait a minute I no that's not it so I'm using five millimeter chow goo on my 16 inch circulars yeah and so that is my last works in progress that I worked on this week. No, I didn't do a sweater. I didn't complete a washcloth, but it's okay. I'm glad I made a little progress on this. It's gonna take me a long time to finish, <laughs> but hopefully I'll learn a few things about color work. I'm trying to learn, um, about the floats, not stacking your floats, you know, making sure, um, you know, stretching out the yarn on your needles so that it, oh, there's all kinds of videos, you know, and tension because I knit, I can't knit with the two yarns in one hand. I get really confused because your positioning of your yarn is very important. Like <clears throat> if you're going to have the background color in one hand and the design color in the other hand. You have to stay that way the whole thing, the whole time. And there's videos out there showing you the difference between switching your, they'll, sh they'll knit the same pattern with the same colors, but they will hold, so they'll hold the yarn like this and show you what it looks like. And then they'll switch hands and show you what it looks like. And you won't believe the difference. So you gotta make sure you do that. You know, keep keep your position the same throughout and make sure you don't stack your floats and all kinds. I'm learning. I don't think I'll ever be majorly into color work, but I'm gonna learn enough so that this doesn't come out disastrous.
which I don't think it will. It's for me. My kids want to fight me for it, but no, it's mine. Okay, so that is all I have to show you today. I'm very thirsty. Hang on one sec. I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper. So that's all I have to show you today. Thank you all for joining me, and thank you all for watching. <coughs> like I said at the beginning, thank you to all my new subscribers, and thank you, thank you to all my subscribers. Um, and be on the lookout for that um, giveaway video. Like I said, I will. I'm going to ship it worldwide, and yeah, I will do it next week. I've got to want to kind of get a few more things. So, yeah, that's very exciting. I've been wanting to do a giveaway for a long time, so now I can. I mean, I could have done it whenever, but I wanted to kind of have a reason for it. Okay, guys, so that's it. I hope you all have a great day and have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Bye now.